So we're back at Basker Colony. Because Basker Colony is a cool place. Um, I think that this... I, I think this guy is going to do a strip tease for us. I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah, so there's only a few m mandatory dungeons in Chapter 4. Before we get to the end of the game. But there's optional stuff. Lo lots of optional bosses. So. We still got stuff to do. Much like in Disc 2 of Wild Arms 2. It's pretty similar. So peaceful. It's hard to believe we were fighting so frantically moments ago. It just doesn't seem real. I can't believe a cub drifter like me got involved in a battle over Philgaia and won with the help of many comrades. I fought to save the world. Maybe it's natural that it doesn't feel real. I mean, this was like a fantasy straight out of a picture book. Heh. <laughs> Then, what kind of things do seem real? Nothing comes to mind. I guess these things aren't supposed to. Hey, having fun? The star of the party shouldn't be sitting out here by herself. Yeah, my face was getting all hot. I just needed to cool off. Ah, oh, okay. By the way, have you seen Shane? He's been gone for a while. Where is Shane O'Mac? Shane? No, I haven't seen him. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Jed either. Yeah, you're right. I'll help you look. Oomph. Looks like I'm okay. Hey, have you been drinking? I think Virginia's getting a little tipsy over here. Arthur? <laughs> now, now, now Arthur's old school right there. Haha, <laughs> whatever. So I guess we gotta find Shane. See where that pool expert's doing, hanging out. There you are. I'm not too comfortable with festive occasions myself. You sure are amazing. We're about the same age and you fought to protect Philgaia. All I did was tag along with some pretty skilled guys and that was the outcome. <laughs> I barely remember it, but... I'd probably go with Arthur. Arthur's cool. A battle to save the human race? Pfft, I ain't qualified for that. I didn't have a single memory of this planet I wanted to protect. 
But even so, you fought and emerged victorious. Binky! I have been raised to act as a pillar to protect this planet. Just like Tim. But all I do is relay divine revelations for my dreams. That's all. It is my duty to protect the planet, yet I can't do anything about it. I guess the only thing we have in common is that neither of us have any memories of this planet. No memories? I have been raised as a pillar. Therefore, my life centers around this colony here. Colony Wars! That's a good game. The only other outside world I know is the outskirts of the colony and maybe a few shrines. The rest, I just use my imagination based on the stories of Philgaia my brother tells me. I don't know anything about this Philgaia I'm supposed to protect. So in that sense, I have no memories of this planet. Do you think that one day I too will be able to risk my life and fight for the planet as you and my brother did? You can't avoid battles when the enemy comes right at you. As long as you're not scared, your body will react naturally. That is, if you have no reason to back off. That's what it means to fight. As long as you have the will to move forward, anyone can fight. Actually, maybe you fight to move forward. Hey Shane, Jet, I got a cold one for you. Here comes the loudmouth. I'd leave now if I were you. Fairly odd parents. I've never seen that. Heard of it, but never seen it. Dream child. Dream child? What, what in the butt? Who's the dream child? I don't even know. So we can move around. We pretty much should, just gotta go talk to Shane over there. I don't think we can do anything else. Because there's like... N there's, there's nothing else here, man. I don't think you can go in here. Jet went to the altar alone? No, he wouldn't do that. Or would he? No. Uh, Charlie Brown! Oh, you gotta love classic Peanuts. Oh, there you are. Your brother was looking for you. Are you alone? Anyone else with you? That's funny. Now, where could Jet be? Oh, he's probably hanging out, watching some Wheel of Fortune. You know how he rolls. Um, Virginia? What's wrong? Do you feel sick? Then you should... Virginia? Y yes Yup! <gasps> Up, oh, she's still drunk. I am all right now. I will do whatever I must do to fulfill my destiny. I will protect this planet. Cool. It's pretty awesome. Did he have too much to drink? I don't know, but I, I'm thinking you did. Pretty sure. What's up? We can't find Shane. What? Do you think he was kidnapped? Not likely. It's Halle Berry! I mean, what? How can you be so sure? You know something we don't. The secret key passed down from priesthood is missing. Oh boy. I smell a theft. Secret key? How come I've never heard of that? The secret key is an artifact a pillar uses when the time comes for him to perform his duty. The sacred key... I thought it was secret key, now it's sacred key. This sacred key summons a powerful monster called a Hydra to act as the pillar's guard. Hydra? The Hydra's role is to see to it that the Pillar carries out his duty successfully, so it is quite formidable. This monster is also able to regenerate. I hear the only way to negate this ability is through the use of fire. Well, that's your business, Clive. Where is this key used? 
You should at least know that. At a sanctuary to the north, known as the Sacrificial Altar, which is a dungeon in the second game, it's also a dungeon in this game. Imagine that. You gotta be kidding me. That's the place where the pillar sacrifices his life for the planet? Where are you going? What are you going to do, Granny? Nothing. This was Shane's decision. There isn't anything I can do about it. And I'm going to drag Shane back whether he likes it or not. That's what I decided. So you can't do anything about it. Tell her. So now we got to go to the sacrificial altar. The strong needs not valor, only a relentless will that goes against fate. Perhaps it is not the pillar that supports Filgaia, but fellows such as them. Hmm. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. It's just the way it is. So now we want to go to the Sacrificial Altar, which is right over here to the north, actually. I said that there, were, there, there would be a dungeon here later on. Well, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. It is somewhere around here. Bum, bum. Na, 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 na. Where you at, man? Come on. I know you're here somewhere. There it is. Yay! Victorious! It's good stuff, man. Sacrificial altar. So there's seven chests in this place. Three new enemies. Oh boy. The sensation. Could it be a guardian? I don't know about that. No, it is similar, but much more powerful and fierce. Almost as if it is billowing. This is Vilgaia itself. Shane is trying to awaken it. Let's hurry. Guess we could do that. So before we even go in, I believe there's some ch there are two chests out here. Or at least there's crates with items. Can't carry any more revive fruit. They don't actually count as chests, but they are there are items. But we're maxed out on revive fruit, so we don't need that nonsense. Come over here. Here's a chest. Three gala cards. Very nice. Make our way around to this chest. And a Gimmel coin. Bugenhagen. Ho ho. Alright. So we want to actually use the, the lower entrance. Not the higher entrance. Because you can't do that on television. Can't even do, do that on pay-per-view. And we all. Water Exodus went online, apparently. A little jerk. So we got three new enemies in this place. They're probably nothing to worry about. Eel Vo oh, oh, we've actually fought these guys outside. So they're definitely nothing to be concerned with at this point. We've fought them before. On the overworld. Hydro Launcher! Current Spark! They're nothing to worry about, though. They're old bastards. Hasty Steve! Didn't you know? It's like Hasty Steve on a bender. That's what it is. Trap disarmed. 
random blue bracer that I'm pretty sure we don't need. Because I think ev I think everybody has paralysis protection. Could be wrong, but I think so. You do. You do. You do. You do, yeah. We don't need that. Oh boy. Look at this setup here. Da -da 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 -da. So we got some uh, crates that we can move. We can move, we can move. With the uh, steady doll. Put that there so we can glide across. Okay, fine. Just ambushes everywhere. Jet's in danger, of course he is. Gargoyles! That's a good show. I guess we could summon... We'll see how much this does. Woo! Oh, that actually did a th about a thousand damage each. That's not too bad. Earthward. No effect. I have full on wind ward, so that's not going to do anything, man. And they're just going to keep doing it. That's pretty sexy. I'm not going to lie. Gargoyles! He goes down in a heap. Smash! We're not playing Smash! What are you talking about, dude? We're playing Wild Arms 3. You don't know what you're doing. Sky Twister does nothing. And Jet's going to get some nice bonus experience for, for this fight. Which I'm totally cool with. Totally cool with, man. Oh, yeah. Bump! Rock Azer. No effect. So much no effect in this fight. Bump! Jet's almost getting twice the experience. I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with that. Okay, so we want to push this over here. There you go. Now we can just glide across. Carlton Sheet style. Whee! Oh, yeah. Hmm. There's a duplicator chest. Or door chest. What am I talking about? I don't even know. Still got six duplicators left. Gotta use the steady dolls to get these. Mini carrot. And I fall stupidly. That's awesome. Love it. And we get a growth egg, because why not? Because why not? There you go, Virginia. That away. Bum 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 ba bum bum bum. Dun 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 uh bum 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 uh bum bum bum. The phoenix's wings act as your guide. Extinguish all the flames and let them be. The flames will eventually lead you. Hmm. So that's kind of a uh, cryptic clue on what we need to do. Let's see. 
So basically, you want to use the freezer doll to, to, to put all the torches out. And then wait for them to come back. And they will show you the way. And these are the only ones that come back, so that means that's the right way to go. Hmm. So it's kind of the same thing. You want to keep repeating that until... Until it, it leads you somewhere else. There we go. Where are we going now, dude? Where are we going now? 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 This way again. What the hell do you want? Leave me alone, Jet again? Why, Scorpius, why? Why you do this? You know, I'm pretty sure N Nightbot r reminded you not to be a bastage. And then you just decided to be a bastage. I don't understand such transgressions. I, I really don't. Doesn't make sense, man. Da -na -na. Freaking Scorpius. Well, at least this is the last new enemy in here, so we don't need to fight any other enemies if we don't want to. Counter attack. Guess we can do another Gale Claw. Might as well. Da da da. Oh yeah. Do it. Don't make me come over there. Jet did it all by himself. He's just that cool. We get a revive fruit that we absolutely do not need. Oh, material count went up. First character to reach eight. Okay. Where are we going now? We're going this way. That's where we're going. Oh, boy. So I think there's a boss coming up. So that'll be a fun time. Uh-oh. Rot row. Shane? But, brother, what are you doing here? Look at that face. You're coming home with me. What, what are you saying, brother? Can't you see I'm here trying to obtain the power to fight? Why? To carry out my duties as a pillar and to obtain the power to fight alongside you. If I have that power, then I can travel with all of you, right? Stop talking nonsense. You're... You don't understand me at all, brother. Why must you always treat me like a child? You... You need me when you fight for the world. No, actually, you need me by your side all the time. So please don't meddle in my affairs, brother. Just a little longer, and I will gain great power. Please do not disturb me. I ask for your patience. Uh-oh. He's on D&D. &D. So now we gotta fight the Hydra. Who has about 22,000 experience. We should probably use a Gala card here. So it can restore its own HP. It has an... A water... 
attack to your entire party. And it has a physical attack that can do poison, so... That's a fun time. Did, did we get any lucky cards? No, we didn't. So we can just do a Gala card if we would like. So it's weak against ice, but if you remember what Hallie said, we actually want to use fire. And every time you do fire, it'll lower the amount of HP that it heals itself. Normally it heals 11,000, and then each fire attack you do will half that, so yeah. And if you have a lot of water ward, then that's definitely going to lower the damage. Pretty massively. So we'll do some variant, because why not? So just keep doing fire to lower the amount that it heals itself. It's good stuff. Maelstrom! Yeah, that's gonna be the attack it, it, it does most of the time. It's not too bad, especially if you have quite a bit of water ward like I do. You could also do protect if you want to. But I'm not too worried about it. And of course, if, you ha if you've maxed out Finest Art, you can probably kill it before it has a chance to heal, but I'm not too worried about that. Took out a head. And I'm not sure about this, but it seems like when its HP starts getting low, it, it gets a boost in Magic Resistance. I don't know if it actually does, but it kind of seems that way. But who knows. Hydro Combination. Yeah, that is poison, but I don't think anybody can be poisoned at this point. So that's kind of cool. Burn that head. No head for you, sir. So I think you really only need to do fire a few times. Oh, this is weird. You could also use fire gems if you have them. To just get all the fire out of the way. Just use one with everybody, but... Not too worried about that. Chrono Cross? Definitely. I plan on doing all the Chrono games. All the Chrono games. Hydra combination. Tag blocker. Nice. He's actually not doing a... Uh... Maelstrom nearly as much as I thought he would. Do -do -do -do. Might have to do Valiant again. There it is. Plus it gives us some nice uh, experience boosts. So that's cool. Pop! Pop goes the weasel. Boom! Bum 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 He should be about done though. I would say. He's doing Vitalizer, which now heals 660. That's just sad, man. That is just sad. Pop goes the push pop. Do 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 do. Wah, wah, wah. You know what I'm talking about? Boom! Ow! There's some damage for ya. He should be about done. Not gonna last much longer, sir. 
doing Vitalizer again. Too bad that uh, that only heals 660 now, so it's like nothing. Very minuscule compared to what it would have been. Speaking of which, st stay hydrated, bot. I should probably go get some water soon. Got him! Yeah, yeah. Ooh, we get a Mega Berry. 48,000 Gala, 10,000 experience apiece. That's cool. Da -na 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 -na. All alrighty then. We almost got some levelage there, though. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab some water. I'll be right back.